peeps, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for this. Nipples are popping, belly is sucked, brain is a thunkin'. We got some photos to go through. I was on the old book of faces and I saw an advert for photo bucket. Now you youngsters are like, what the frack is photo bucket? Photo bucket is, or was, I don't know, well, you gotta pay for it now, so I can only get into it for seven days to view my old pictures. Screw paying you to view my own shits. Photo bucket was a website you could, like an online photo album, you could upload your pictures and keep them safe and, you know, if I ever got tagged in a picture, photo bucket is where I would upload it so I could you know, download it at the college computer, download it at the internet cafe and upload it somewhere else. Face party, MySpace, whatever dodgy website I was looking at that day. That's what Photo Bucket was. It was basically an online photo album. Oh my God, my tits are sweating. So sorry if you can hear my fan. <laughs> Told you I had a fan. Someone loves me. My number one fan. So basically I saw an advert for it, decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look. It gave me a seven day free trial. I logged in with my old email address, which I don't have access to anymore because it got hacked. It took me about 10, 15 minutes to remember my old password, but I was very cliche, very big Murder Dolls fan. So I went through my old passwords, all like Murder Dolls songs and you know, hmm, what would 13 year old me use as a password? And bam, I got in. I found all my teenage pictures. I haven't used this album in so, so long. And I found so many pictures of basically me from the age of 13 to 18. Any pictures after 18 I have on other, I have stored other places. 13 to 18, I had them all on my MySpace. My MySpace got hacked. So um, I don't have access to them anymore. I would love to, oh my God, if I could get into my MySpace, that would be the best video ever. So I am gonna go back into my photo bucket account while I'm still on my free trial and just go through all my teenage pictures with you. These are some weird pictures. <laughs> Let's get the darkness out of the way first. So I was in a, quite a horrible relationship and I was forced to grow up very, very, very quickly. And you'll see that throughout these pictures. I was a very young 13, 14 year old and you'll see the progression from 14 to 15 before I met my Predator X to after I met my Predator X. Yeah, but I thought it'd be a cool video anyway to just go through and see what I look like as a teenager. Got my laptop with my own face on it and Absalom? Have any of you seen Ron's Gone Wrong? Because our family just walk around the house all the time just going, Absalom? It's such a good film. These are in no particular order as well. These are literally all just uploaded. Should we start, should we try and do them in order? I can see the thumbnails, they're all quite small. I know this is the, the youngest of me. Oh my God, my nose looks so big. So I was... 14 here. I think I've got my school uniform on because I can see the blue collar. This was taken on like those old, it wasn't a Polaroid. I can't remember what they were called. They were like long Polaroids. And they were, they were in fashion for a while, but you got the pictures instantly. This was the first selfie I think I ever took. Jeez. <laughs> I think I look so young. So much hope in my eyes. Oh, Emily, that's about to go. I had so much trouble at school. I left school in year 10. I did part-time school in year 11. I was in isolation. I did English, maths and science in isolation. And I used to piss off home for the other lessons. School thought I was in class. Class thought I was in isolation. Mum thought I was in part-time school. It was so easy for me, a 14 year old, to do part-time school. I don't know how I got away with it for a whole year, but I ended up leaving with no qualifications at all. Yeah, a life of sh jobs and no career prospects has profounded me since. Oh my god. This is- <laughs> Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. This is- <laughs> This is my first photo shoot that me and my friend at the time had in a, uh, in a graveyard in Woodbridge. If you live in Woodbridge, it, the graveyard, the big one in the 
Talon said, uh, you'll know the one. Probably St. Mary's. They're all called St. Mary's, aren't they? I think I've got a few photos from this photo shoot. These are all my friends' clothes. 13. 13, 14 in this picture. Um, they were my friend's Doc Martens, which she ended up giving me, and all my fake blood. I'm just like, <gasps> oh, do you know what? The eyeliner is exactly how I did my makeup for so long. From like 12 to 15, 16, is exactly just how I used to do my eyeliner. Just really thick on the bottom of my eyes. I did no other makeup i did no foundation mascara winged eye literally nothing just thick black eyeliner on the bottom of my eyelids and i thought that looked good <laughs> there's a few more from this shoot so let's have a look at them oh my god this one in a tree this one i've got oh i've got a knife is that a knife in me so murder dolls this was during my murder dolls phase i was obsessed with the murder dolls. I think my hair might even be shaved in these. I can't remember. I had um, kind of similar to what I have now, but not as stylish. <laughs> Where is that knife? Is that, if that's under my armpit, that's quite well done, because that doesn't look like that's under my armpit. Like, you can see my eyeliner. Girl, sort that eyeliner out. Look, I've still got my shag bands on. Oh my God. Some people never change. <laughs> Look, I can't help it. I love shag bands, gummy bracelets. They're just a bit of nostalgia that I've just never, ugh, get down, that I've never lost. I, mean, I only wear two. I wear a black and a green one now, and then sometimes this barbed wire one, but it annoys me because it slides off my wrist. Good times, good times. One of the first and last times I wore red lipstick as well. I don't like red lipstick. There's one. Oh, I've cut round them and stuck them on a bit of paper. Upside down on a, on some steps. Eddie, are you okay? You okay? You okay, Eddie? Help me, I'm falling. What is, like, <laughs> this, is, this is so cringe. I feel like every MySpace era goth or emo kid did a dead photo shoot or a graveyard photo shoot. And if you didn't do it, you need to, you, you need to do it. This is your sign. Although I am so triggered that my blacks don't match. <laughs> that top needs to be dyed. So faded, girl. I like the purple and black stripy tights though. I would still wear those. And the skirt is cute. I look so tall as well. I don't know. <laughs> I'm only four foot eleven, so <laughs> apparently I look tall when I'm upside down on stairs. Okay, this is the last one from that amazing photo shoot. <laughs> Help me, I'm stuck in a tree. <laughs> Um, you can see my eyeliner and I think my piercings were glued on as well. So I was 14. I think I got my first lip piercing at 14. The creeper brought me it. Um, but I didn't have any piercings at this time. I don't think. Only my ears. Only my ears and I think my belly because I got that done when I was young. My, what big eyes you have. Look at those freaking bracelets. I don't, I'm not a fan of studded bracelets like this. Oh my God, everyone's gonna come for me now. Oh, I just don't like them. But it was back during my, it's like I said, it was during my murder dolls days. And if I saw Wednesday 13 or Trip, ugh, another pedo. Wednesday's not a pedo, but oh my God, this is going down a dark hole. If I saw Wednesday or Trip wearing something, I wanted it and I was so in, in love with those two. It was the hair. It was the hair. It was the shaved head with the dreadlocks on the top, with all the braids on the top, and I just loved that look. It was so 2000s, gothy. I would have died for them. Me, a 14 year old girl, thinking I had a chance with a murder doll, not knowing I actually did, because one of them went to prison for sleeping with a 14 year old. Right, I think that's the end of that um, amazing photo shoot. A few of them have people that I'm going to have to blur out in them, so just don't ask questions, just assume that they're a, not a nice person. Oh, look! I look so much like my brother here. <laughs> don't know if that's a good thing or not. My first nose piercing, which... I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I have a bump on it. <laughs> the first of many nose piercing bumps. Um, I think it was pierced with a ring and it was pierced at the Cop Doc motorbike show from an old red ambulance. 
that apparently drives or used to drive around Felix so and do tattoos and piercings please if you ever see this ambulance do not fall for it he is not a paramedic and he will not save your life in fact he's death reincarnate and he will do the opposite than save your life he will give you a nasty infection and not save your life the return of the thick black eyeliner i'll tell you what the rimmel sales must have plummeted this day i stopped doing my eyeliner like that oh i haven't <laughs> i don't remember this one i look soulless this is the start of the blood-sucking vampireness reeking my soul from me. <laughs> Shagbirds! <laughs> I have to make a joke of everything, otherwise I cry. If I don't laugh, I cry. And if I cry, I jump off a bridge. And if I jump off a bridge, my family cries for about ten minutes, and then they go on and live their life. So I'm not going to put them through that ten minutes of crying. So I have to make a joke of things. It's how I deal with my life. So this, um, ironically looks like it's taken in front of a prison. Yeah, I, I just look so young. I can kind of tell what age I am from my hair. So I must be 15 here because, 14, 15, because when I was 15, like summer, my birthday's in August. And it was the summer of being 15, so the following year, that I shaved all my hair off. So this, I probably was about 15 in this picture. Representing the shag band. Ugh, he's got shag bands on as well. I want to take mine off now. Yeah, this is the start of um, losing my identity a little bit, I think. Oh, it makes me sad. Why am I doing this? I'm getting so sad. When I was a kid, I always had really long hair. I always had long hair growing up, always. And then when I was 11, I cut it really short, like up to a bob, a, bob, a really short bob. And if you've ever done that, you'll know it never grows back the way that it once did. I have always tried to re, re get that length. This is all extensions. This is, my hair is short. Um, this is my hair. That's not my hair, that's extensions. <laughs> my hair is short. It just never grows back the way that it did from being a child. So I always wanted really long gothic -y hair and then I was kind of molded into something else by this person and I cut all my hair off and I know I have a picture of that. This picture! Oh, we've jumped in piercings, haven't we? BAM! I was 15 in this picture, and this was my first photo shoot. So I started stretching my ears, I got, um, I used to pierce my ears myself, so I did all my ear piercings. So I, well, not my first to my second. I did my third and my fourth. Um, my piercings were all paid for by the, by the freak. I got my thick black eyeliner. Um, my fringe is still quite long. It's like down to my chin. And then I had this bit shaved, and I've got locks in the back, synthetics. I think my soul has left me at this point. A year of being with, <laughs> with a creep and the light has left my body and I'm just a vessel of nothing. I got a cute nose though. <laughs> but I didn't have my hair like that for very long. Hold on, let me find some pictures because I know I've got some. I know that I started to grow my hair back not long after having it like this. So I think that photo shoot is one of the only times I have photos of my hair all shaved here because I really didn't have it for long. Oh, here's me and my thick black eyeliner again. I look cute. Yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five lip piercings and a bridge piercing. My bridge piercing never healed. I've had it done three, three times, I think. I've got the scars. The first time was done by a really good piercer in Colchester, who I think still, I think they tattoo now and everybody loves them, but my God, they effed up my bridge piercing. They put a curved barbell in it and they did it like not at the end of my bridge. They put it, oh my God, it was terrible, it was terrible. So I took that out. Second time I got it done, um, I can't remember, I think it was wonky. And then the third time I got it done, I think this time in the picture was probably the second time. And I took it out and then I think I got it done again when I was like 18. I got massive irritation bumps on it and oh, 
just gave up and took it out. But um, no, it looked quite cute in this picture. It's a shame it's ruined by the big blue blob. But I'd split my hair. Right, so when I started to grow this bit of my hair back, what I did was I split the fringe, parted it like a goth comb over, and I used to wear a big black hair band. And that is how I grew my hair back. Really unimaginative. I had no other way to grow my hair back other than this wide black hair band. Um, which was actually two Alice bands uh, sewn together to make it wide enough to cover from my fringe to my ponytail. And I used to let the ponytail at the back just hang down so when my when I had the hairband on it looked, or I thought it looked, like I just had a full head of hair. But it blatantly didn't look like that because the back was so thin because there wasn't much hair there and it must have looked awful. <laughs> let me see, let me see. I'm trying to skim through them so I can see if I have any pictures in this time in this order. Oh, I do! I do! I do! Ah. Here is the hairband! Here's the white hairband! And the fringe and um you can kind of see the little ratty hair at the back because obviously i had it all shaved so it was just thin and there wasn't much hair there. it was literally a square of hair at the back so it wasn't thick enough to i didn't have money for extensions or anything so this was you can kind of see the line on the hairband too so it was just two hairbands sewn together create this alice band and um and yeah i cut my fringe and Oh look, there's a bottle of alcohol in front of us. I would have been about 16? 16, 16 in this picture? This has totally turned into a basherette video. <laughs> I look soulless. My eyes are dead inside. Wow, I was making a joke, but they actually are. They are dead. There is nothing behind those eyes. They are screaming out for help. Oh my god, I can't look at this picture because they actually are. But the hair. So my hair had grown back, I think, enough that I could um, brush it forward. And that's why I cut my fringe into a fringe. And it looks really, really thick. So I think I had done that. And then the back, I think I had wool roving hair falls so I, I just braided wool into my hair and this was from a photo shoot and I have uh, a, a printout of this photo shoot um let me know if you'd like to see one of these of my old modeling photos because I, I found modeling photos on this website too but I wanted to keep them separate because I, I, they're different they're different they're, they're I, I could do, oh I did a modeling one with the, with the board but but that, <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to do Morse code with my eyes. S. Oh, S. This looks like a picture you would put on a milk carton if you found a lost kid. Like, help, does anyone recognise this lost child? She's been found with a soiled nappy. Oh look, no, we've, we're trying to, we're trying to do the makeup a bit better. Um, still only the bottom eye makeup but we got we got three little dots three little funny little dots we're trying to step out of the comfort zone we're not taking a full leap we're just dipping our toe out the front door putting it on the mat and going oh it's too cold for me but look my eyes are crying do you know what actually sorry on that note when i found messages from the creeper and the woman he was messaging one thing he moaned about not being happy with me was because mate i'm perfect there's no reason to not be happy with me <laughs> one thing he said that he didn't like about being with me is that my makeup was boring okay you got a point that's no reason to cheat on someone and today on jeremy kyle we have carl so carl tell us mate why have you cheated on emily your wife well jeremy her makeup's just sh I just couldn't look at it anymore. I didn't tell her her makeup was shit. I didn't help her. I didn't help her do better makeup even though I don't even wear makeup and I wear the same pants for a week at a time. I didn't do anything. I just decided to look for someone with better makeup and sell them my dilemmas with her makeup. So this is MySpace era. 
This is the MySpace angle, the washed out white, overexposed face, the hair. I think I've got black flares on, I had swear boots, I had this grey, black and black and grey striped top which I literally lived in. And this jacket, this black and white zebra fur jacket. <sighs> Let me tell you about this jacket because this is something that keeps me up at night. I bought this jacket from Camden Market for 30 quid. I think th about 30 quid, it was not expensive. And it was a handmade jacket and it didn't have lining or anything but it was, it was so cheap. I was so scared to wear this jacket out because my confidence had just been broken down. You will find no other pictures of me in this jacket. I think there was one other picture that was taken on the same night, we literally went to the cinema. I wore the jacket, I wore it to the cinema, and I never wore it again because he called me fat in it. He said I look fat or something. Because it was a bomber style, so um, it kind of had elastic at the bottom and elastic on the cuffs. So it kind of made, like, I'm quite stocky anyway. I'm only 4'11 and I'm a big chungus. And um, yeah, he said I look fat in it, so I never, ever wore this jacket again and I ended up selling it. I think about this, you know when you lay in bed and you just think about stuff, I think about random stuff when I go to sleep and that's how I sleep. I relive arguments, you know, oh Sandra said you were a bitch in year four of primary school, well if I, you know, if I could go back in time I'd smack Sandra in the face, <laughs> things like that. And I always think, I always come back to this jacket and if you go on my Instagram, I, last year I bought a, um, a zebra print coat, a long, long, really long, too long for me because I'm so short, zebra print coat. And to anyone else it's just a coat, but to me it was like, oh, I don't want to, <laughs> we're going to get really deep. To me it was like taking back something that somebody had taken away from me. So it, it you know, someone said that it made me look really fat and that stuck with me because I am twice the size I was in this picture and I literally wore this jacket once and I loved it and I was made to feel like I couldn't wear it again even though it was years and years and years ago these things matter and you know some things stick with people yeah so I bought myself um, a long zebra coat last year and it stands out in a crowd it makes me look massive because it's oversized and you know what i fucking love it and it's my favorite coat and i wear it when well it's getting warmer now so i don't wear it now but i wear it with freaking pride so baby emily i'm pretending i can see the picture you wear that jacket with pride i wish i could go back and tell this girl to wear that jacket because that jacket's amazing and I've never been able to find one the same because it was handmade one I wish I wish I wish I had worn it more I wish I'd have kept it I got rid of it because some prick called me fat in it now I'd be like I don't care but my confidence was already really really low and you know when it's low and someone plays on your insecurities it just you go into yourself whereas now I'll be like oh yeah <gasps> Pass the biscuits, will you? This video is unleashing a rage that I didn't think it was going to. <laughs> so where are we at? We're at? Are we at 17? Oh, this is 17. A picture of me and some guy. Um, I know exactly where this was because this was a night out with my friend Lucas. We went to the Swan pub in Ipswich, which is no longer there, and there was a band playing. Attack of the weird seagull eyebrows! What is It's like... It's how I drew seagulls on paper when I was a kid. You just do the, that's li that's what it looks like. It's terrible, seagull brows. I love that top though. I have not seen that top in years. It was a fishnet top. I think it had detachable fishnet sleeves that came from an awful alternative shop here. PVC corset on, oh my God, I have not worn a corset in years. Baby, you would have to fight to get me in a corset. I am all about the comfort. <laughs> Awesome times, good times out. I've got pink. Have I got pink hair falls in? I do not remember having pink hair falls. Oh, there's another picture from the same night. And my, my hair is really long. Really long pink synthetic falls and 
I have no idea. I do not remember this hair whatsoever. Doubled up tights as well. Love it. I, I don't remember. I don't remember this hair. They're so cute. So I think that takes us to... Oh, is that another one? Oh, there's another one! That's my friend Lucas on the end. He's a babe. Oh, that's a really nice picture. I have to cut someone off the other end, but that's a really... Oh. I don't have many pictures of me out with friends because I never went out with friends. Literally never used to go out. It's really nice to see pictures of me out. When I hit 18, it was almost like something changed in me and suddenly I could do things. I could go out, I could get a job. I started college at 18 and I massively grew my independ my independence shot up. So that's why I got married at 18 because my in I was becoming so independent, he didn't like that. He had to reel me back in. But um, so here's some pictures of me at 18 and then this is where the story ends. I do have a few though, so don't worry. So around this time is when we started to go to Club Antichrist. I love Club Antichrist. Have not been for a few, actually I have not been since before Violet was born. So it's been at least eight years. But me and Ben used to go and it was so much fun. I'd love to go again. Does anyone want to, let's set up, a, let me scratch my bum. Let's set up a little group. Look, let's go to AC together, come on. So here's some pictures of me before going to Antichrist. Best nights ever. I used to always wear fake pearl necklaces. Beads, these like 80s beads. They were my favorite necklaces ever. I use, they were my stay, they were my thing. Now my thing is black and green. I've always had a thing. Um, it's kind of my comfort is my thing. And my thing back then was beads. I was always, I would always wear beads because no matter what I wear or what I looked like, I would always have my comfort. So now my comfort is black and green and maybe it's my maybe it's even like my shag bands i think this is in the toilet of like sainsbury's or something because the venue used to be in Vauxhall, um the Vauxhall coliseum in london and it was such a good night i don't think it's there anymore uh i don't know where it is now but i don't think it's at that venue but my cheek piercings have come out at this point i grew my little sideburns out my fringe is on fleek i've only got one side of my chest done at this point I got that done when I was 18, so yeah, I don't know. I'm losing track of everything. And those lashes, uh, I think they were from Stargazer. And this was the first time I've ever worn fake eyelashes. And I never used to wear my glasses. I can't go back through the pictures because I, I don't I don't want to lose where I am on Photo Bucket. But I don't believe in any picture I've shown, maybe one or two. I don't think I have my glasses on, do I? because I never ever ever wore my glasses. I was so embarrassed to wear my glasses because I was like, I don't wanna be a geek. I don't wanna wear my glasses. Now I love my glasses. I think they are my staple. They are, well, bitch, I'm just trying to see. I, like, I can't go without my glasses. Yeah, so I don't wear fake lashes now because they just hit my glasses and it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, I never ever used to wear my glasses. And it's just so weird to me. What a weird thing to be insecure about, being able to have vision. We are coming to the end of my teen years when I started to take my piercings out. I took my top lip piercings out. You can see the lip scars here. I think I blurred them. We are back with the hair falls and whatever hell vintage nocular device that is. I have a latex dress on. I believe I'm wearing a cardigan though. I just said in a previous video that white bitches love a cardigan and here's me in a fetish club wearing a cardigan. <laughs> I have a black and white synthetic wig on. This is a wig. I made this and my pearl necklaces of course, but the wig itself was just a plain black wig and I made all the extensions myself out of synthetic hair and I braided them and I twisted them and I locked them, sealed them and put them into this wig and I made this all myself. I used to make hair extensions all the time, falls, dreadlocks, 
fairy falls, hair roving, wool roving, you know, like I used to make them all. But I do have my glasses on, but I'm pretty sure they probably came off during the night. <laughs> my eyebrows are looking a bit better now though. I think this is in the toilets of Andy Christ as well. And my corset's really cute, I don't remember where that came from. But that dress is cute as well. I need more latex in my wardrobe. I just don't go anywhere to wear it. Oh, the beads again. So this hair is all fake. The fringe is all fake. The hair band, the Alice band is hiding my real hair. The back, the hair falls are all fake, obviously. But the top, which you can't, you can't really see very well, is a black halter top with blue crosses on it and it's from my favorite latex brand in the entire world which is Jane Doe latex. Now Jane Doe latex is run by the model Nina Kate and I have been obsessed with Nina Kate literally since I first saw her on the cover of Bazaar magazine back in the early 2000s. Most of you will probably know her now as being the the woman in the in the another life music video for motionless in white that's her and her husband but she's a model she's a latex designer and i adore everything she does and she made this top for me and um so i feel like i'm kind of friends with her even though she's got no idea who i was and it was like years ago <laughs> i'm so all i can focus on is how flat chest i am <laughs> Because I had no boobs and then I got pregnant and got fat and now I've got two bigger boobs. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, good times, good times. My hair's cute. But look, I have a little... Do I have one today? <gasps> I have a little cross under my eye. Look, I've been representing for all these years. Without even knowing it, that's really cute. I like that. I love this picture. This is one of the very, very few pictures of me that I love. I have a soft spot and I adore dolly dresses. Not full on Lolita dresses, that's not my style, but cute little gothic dolly dresses. Kind of like what I have on now, cute little goth doll looks. And this dress was one that I absolutely loved. It came from a charity shop and this, came, this was taken in... Um, Colchester Zoo I think. I think I'm sitting on a giant tortoise. I was really slim at this point. I've gotten quite ill but I always loved this picture because I think it was such a nice day out and we didn't have many nice days out. I think I was just genuinely happy on this day. Look at me, I'm wearing like pearl necklace thinking I'm a lady. Those biker boots are actual biker boots. My mom gave them to me and I wore them all the time, everywhere, every day. This outfit is literally what I lived in to be honest. I think the bag is an Emily Strange bag and I have my Emily Strange tattoo as well, which is gone. And my hair is long, that's the longest I got my hair. And then it all got cut off again. Yeah, it's cute. I've always had a soft spot for long black hair with a fringe. If you have long black hair and a fringe, I am very jealous of you. I, it's my favorite hairstyle. I think it's so classic and I just adore it. <gasps> Mrs. Potts, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this was one of, oh, I'm actually gonna cry. This is one of my favorite rats ever my ex and i we always used to we used to go on gumtree and free ads and literally type in rats and there was so many people that would get pet rats and then just give them away because they require work and we had so many we had gerbils we had never had mice we had gerbils rats um we literally had in our flat just cages and cages of, of rats and gerbils and, and this was Mrs. Potts and Mrs. Potts was my baby. She was rescued from a house, a flat, like literally just down the road from us and she was on free ads and I can't remember what the ad said but it was it was something really like I got this rat, I got these rats and I don't want them anymore, take them before I put, put them outside. It was something really I'm a sucker for a sob story, so I was like, we can't let them go outside. My hair's growing back all nice now. Growing my fringe out. And, um, and yeah, Mrs. Potts was just 
one in a million. She used to come and kiss me. Like, rats are very cute anyway. They're very intelligent. And they love you. And I just, I adore rats. But Mrs. Potts used to just, she was so fat. <laughs> and, and she had a sister, which is actually where I got my name from. She was called Emily. No, just kidding. Um, her sister was called Boo. And we called them that. We called, they were called something else before we got them. Uh, but we called them Mrs. Potts and Boo. And Boo was called Boo for Montesi. Boo was a Dumbo rat and she was white with really big black eyes, massive ears. And she was tiny. And I just stole her name, <laughs> basically. So after she died, I just started calling myself on MySpace, Emily Boo. And, and that's where my name came from. It, yeah, Mrs. Potts was my babe and she was just one in a million, that rat. <gasps> I lived in this jacket. This is in my old flat. My flat used to open up and my wind I could open my window up and just look down on, we just used to see so much crime and shit. So that window in the background, I was constantly used to just sit by it and watch all the drama happened, growing my hair out again, trying to get my long black hair back that I didn't really want to cut off. My Living Dead, my Night of the Living Dead top, which I wore all the time, and my military jacket, which came from a charity shop, which I worked in at the time. Good times, good times. And then this is, this picture is not long before I left that relationship. Um, it's around the same time as the last picture and I um, wear my criminal damage coat. I just, yeah, I think I'm waiting to get tattooed. I think I have a picture of me getting tattooed somewhere, but I don't know where it is. It's weird, the memories you unlock, isn't it? Oh, a night out somewhere. My style is all over the place. Uh, my big swear boots. Oh my God, oh, are they buffaloes? I don't know. Ripped leggings, leg warmers, zebra print skirt black furry jacket this this is like zebra jacket 2.0 slowly coming back into my era and um living my life for me so i i guess i got it in black and um yeah just living my life and this is the subway that i was assaulted in by someone and my ex ran away when it happened he ran away didn't save me he ran the f away, but that's another story. And then last but not least, this was what I looked like not long before, I, like just before I left. I don't know if I've ever shared this picture. I am so tiny. This may have even been like a few days before I left, like very, very, sit, very, very close to when I left because he was very much molded my style into the, go have, have I been leaning like this the whole video? I've just realized like my, suddenly my back hurts. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, he very much molded my style into what he wanted me to be. And then this was the start of me becoming what I wanted to be and what I felt comfortable in, which apparently was a little emo kid. Um, so I got my Heartless t-shirt, my Bambi, my uh, me faux fur leopard print studded belt. I've got my black fringe back and my long-ish. My hair is actually really short if I remember, but I used to do this so it looked longer. Uh, this is not long before, it might have even been like the day before. It, it really was not long before because this is what I looked like when I met Ben. So I left that relationship some point around this photo and uh, I moved on and met my husband and lived happily ever after. Wow, that was a freaking roller coaster, wasn't it? That really was a roller coaster of emotion. I need to stretch out. Ah! I didn't expect this video to go so up and down. I thought it was gonna just be like, ha ha, look how cute I am, ha ha, look at my seagull eyebrows. But it was like, oh, look at the soul being sucked away from my life force. Yeah, it was, it was weird, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I find a lot of healing in videos like this. Strangely enough, they just remind me how far I've come. And I think it's always good to look back and, and see your journey because it's really easy to just take for granted 
little things in life but when I look back and I see how much I had taken from me and how much I have clawed back and you know now I have my husband and my daughter and you know I've got my friends I've got a great support network I have a lovely job I have you guys and I literally would not have any of this none of this had that last photo not happened oh that hurt I don't know I hope this serves some kind of purpose to show that no matter what oh I don't have any necklaces on oh my god <laughs> necklaces are my thing and I don't have any on I've just done that whole video with that oh because I can just see them all there and like they're my security blanket and I don't have my security blanket on oh my god I feel so naked all of a sudden <sighs> I hope if you take anything from this, it's that maybe words matter. So someone that I was in a relationship with calling me fat in a jacket that I really liked and I got rid of the jacket and I tried, I took back control of that situation that literally happened years ago and they probably th forgot about instantly but in my brain I'm like well I can't wear this jacket anymore because I look fat in it which at the time was my worst fear because I was struggling with things and and I took that back and it might be five years it might be ten years it might be 20 it might be 30 it might be a hundred years later I still took back what I needed from that and that is all part of my healing journey and hey it's better late than never I wear my zebra coat with pride now and I have pictures on my Instagram of me and my zebra coat. So go and check that out. Follow me on Instagram, emilyboo underscore official. And go like my zebra print coat. Because healing can take time. Just be patient with yourself. So that's it. I think I'm going to go. Uh, this has been a roller coaster. <laughs> it's been a glass case of emotion. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. It was fun and very therapeutic for me to get everything out. And just... I don't know, close this chapter of my life because it's, it's out, it's done and it was fun to look back at some good memories that I had forgotten about and I'm totally going to have a look for a bomber style uh, faux fur zebra jacket now but that is it, thank you guys so much for watching if you can, please, please do check out my Patreon it is a great little place, we have a Discord which, with a fantastic community where you can share your own stories, you can share pictures, pet pictures, anything. We have, it's great on there. We have live streams, we have video chats, we have so much to do on there. Or if you just want to tip me because you love me, you can tip me a hot chocolate with the Ko-Fi link down below in the description. Everything helps out my channel and helps me continue to do what I love doing and hopefully what you love to watch too. But that is it guys, I'm gonna skedaddle and I will see you very soon with another video. Much love boobs, take care of yourself and most of all, stay weird.